Hey there! I remember when back in 1999, which is a long time ago now, a new Star Wars movie came out. And the interesting thing about that Star Wars movie was that it had a new villain in it who was fairly widely advertised. And um, I was very excited to see that movie because, if nothing else, that new villain looked very exciting. And that was Darth Maul. Now, little did I know that this movie will also have the thing over, which was unfortunate and kind of ruined everything that came after that. But having said that, here is a movie. No, here is a pen based on that movie. Uh, here we have the um, um, Platinum Star Wars. There were a couple, and this is Darth Maul. Um, I was lent this pen by Applebaum and it took almost two years to get here because of the pandemic and it's a very complicated story that I will not bother you with. Um, but so two years after the pen was launched, I have it here and I can review it. Platinum. Darth Maul. Let's talk about the parts of the pen. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. And of course, I'll do a writing sample. That's it. Let's get started. Okay, so the Platinum Japanese brand Star Wars Darth Maul comes in this box, which I'm now struggling to get out. There we go. Outer sleeve, inner box, Star Wars, little pen bed, a uh, uh, Lucasfilm little card with Darth Maul's face on it. We have a warranty card and we have some filling instructions and that's pretty much it. Where is the pen you ask? Good question, glad you asked. The pen is right here. Here we go. I will zoom in so you can see it a bit better. And here we have this pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan for size. The Platinum 3776, the model this pen is based on, not a huge uh, pen. Parts of the pen. The finial, we have this interesting black and red pattern, and then we have the tattoos uh, on Darth Maul's face. This is a sort of a stylized version of his face, um, which I think is, is quite nice. We have ruthenium trim, so that's the dark metal, and here we have some more um, tattoos, which I'm assuming are his chest. I'm not quite clear on what that is. Anyway, pen tapers down, then we have this end cap there. The pen unscrews and we have the 3776 nib, which in this case has some nice detail. It has the Imperial logo. It says Galactic Empire 14K585. This happens to be a fine nib, which because it's a Japanese pen means it's going to write very, very finely indeed. And on the side here it says LFL for Lucasfilm licensing. We have a plastic feed. Uh, I did not see a converter in the box, uh, so I put in the uh, platinum cartridge in black uh, that came with the pen. The pen is on the small end of things, as you can see here, um, but it does post and then I think it's a very nice size for many very light pen. The 3776s tend to be very light in my experience. This looks to be another bit of ruthenium there, which I think is quite nice. And on the center band, it says Star Wars, the platinum, P-Platinum logo, and made in Japan. And that is pretty much it. Okay, let's see how the pen writes. I will zoom out a little bit. Again, this is just the black platinum uh, cartridge. Uh, here we have, I'm just going to call him Darth Maul to not take up all your time writing everything. It's a fine 14k nib uh, and it is just the, the, the platinum black as I said. Platinum B, otherwise it won't fit. It is indeed a very very fine nib. As I said, this is Japanese fine, which means it's typically one grade below European uh, in width. In other words, Japanese fine would be approximately extra fine in a European pen. 
and it is just that. There is quite a bit of feedback, but I mean, what would you expect from such an incredibly fine nib? Uh, I wouldn't quite call it scratchy, it is just feedbacky. You will feel that you are writing with a fountain pen. As to line variation, um, it's rigid. These nibs are very, very rigid. I've also found that with my first Platinum, which was a 3776 with a music nib. As to reverse writing, for those who enjoy such a thing, you already have a very fine nib, but you can turn it upside down, it doesn't really become scratchy, and as a result, you get an even finer nib. There you have it. Uh, Darth Maul, I am not sure if Dark Lord of the Sith was appropriate, Apprentice Dark Lord of the Sith, and Cut in Half. And that's the end of it. So. I hope this was useful. Let's have a chat about what I like and what I don't like about this particular pen. What do I like, what do I not like about the Darth Maul Platinum Star Wars, Star Wars Platinum Platinum Star Wars Darth Maul? I think it has some, some neat things going for it. And of the different Star Wars pens that Platinum released, this is not my favorite. Um, this is a personal thing. I mean, if you're a huge Darth Maul fan, uh, then of course this would be very exciting, I would assume. But I find it mainly a pen with weird shapes on it that I, I don't immediately recognize as Darth Maul unless I start to really look at it. And in a way, that's kind of exciting that you have something that is that looks a bit like abstract art and only when you really get close to it do you actually see Darth, Maul, Darth Maul's face in it and his tattoos and all that stuff. Um, so there is that. Again, different characters from different movies appeal to, appeal to different people, so that is just... I'm, there's 100% a market for this, I have no doubt there. I like the eye for detail, I mean I like that the nib has that, has that uh, Imperial logo on it, that it even says Galactic Empire, even though of course Darth Maul was not Galactic Empire because there was no Empire when Darth Maul was around so there they missed the boat, but that's that's fine. I guess um, Overall, it's a, a platinum 3776. It's a Pen and it's a nice pen. I think they 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 write nicely. They are somewhat on the small size for me personally um, But that is me personally when posted. I think it's a very nice size It's a very very light pen the three seven seven sixes are to me They kind of have the same feeling as the Namiki Falcon, which is just a very very light pen very lightweight and You have to enjoy that um, smaller pen very, very lightweight, but a reliable writer, and at the end of the day, that's what you purchase it for. I am not quite sure if this is worth the markup. I currently see these for $300 on eBay. I will say you get a gold nib for it, which is nice, and of course it was a, a limited uh, uh, run. I understand all that. I probably would not pay $300 for this, but having said that, again, this is a specific crossover market with fountain pen users and Star Wars people and so a hundred percent there's a market for these. I have no doubt there it's Star Wars and, and collecting kind of go hand in hand. So I think it's a it's definitely an interesting pen. It would just not be my pen. But that's fine. Different people, different tastes, etc. I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you to Yoast for lending me the pen. So it took a while. But it's here now, and everything is as the Force wills it. Alright, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.